It was a beautiful day on the island of Sodor, and the Polar Express, Thomas, and the magical train car, whose name they just found out was Larry, were all hanging out at the Brio station, chatting about what the work week was going to bring. Yeah, so anyways, said Thomas, those are the different tasks that Sir Topham Hat has for me. I'm really excited to uh, get this day started. Um, there's a lot to do. That is quite a list, my friend Thomas, said the Polar Express. I sure am glad that we have hard-working steamies on this island that are able to get so many wonderful jobs done. All of a sudden, Thomas's best friend Percy made his way to the Rio station. He saw the Polar Express, the magical training car, and Thomas talking, so he thought he would check in. Hello, Thomas and friends, said Percy. I hope you're all having a great day. Hey, check out my awesome costume. I'm not green anymore. I have this really cool print. I look like a leopard, Percy. What do you think? <laughs> said the magical train car. Oh, thank you so much, magical train car, said Percy. Uh, I think that that's a compliment, so I'll take it as one. You know, Thomas, said the Polar Express, I have that North Pole magic where I'm able to change different costumes for steamies at my own will. Would you like to do a Thomas fashion show? A Thomas fashion show? Oh my gosh, you had me at t on Thomas. Let's do it. All right, Thomas, get on that track. I'm going to get my magic ready. And we're going to show off the many costumes that I can come up with. And we'll show the magical train car and Percy the many iterations of those Thomas costumes. The Polar Express mustered all of the magic that he could. And all of a sudden, he started calling out different types of costumes for Thomas. All right, Thomas, here we go. Normal Thomas. Whoa, said Thomas. Holiday Thomas said the Polar Express. Grassy Thomas! Wooden Thomas! Spark Thomas! Vacation Thomas! Itty bitty Christmas Thomas! <laughs> Dark Blue Thomas. I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Extremely Dirty Thomas. Very, very shiny Thomas. Mm. Oh, so shiny. Um, magical train car, get off the track. This is not time for you. This is Thomas's time. <laughs> Thank you. Day out with Thomas, Thomas. And last but not least, one of my favorite costumes. Happy birthday, Thomas. Even though it's not your birthday. <sighs> Thomas panted as he pulled back up to the Rio station. Oh my goodness, that was a lot of fun. But boy, was it a lot of work having to change outfits. That sure is some pretty cool magic you've got there at Polar Express. Ooh, Polar Express, that was so magically cool. Ooh, now, do me, do me. Mm, let me see one moment, Percy. Poof, said the Polar Express. Oh my gosh, wow, that was so cool. Now back to my normal self. Thanks, Polar Express. You are most welcome, Percy, said the Polar Express. That was a lot of fun, but when I use my magic, I get very tired, so I think it's about time to call it a day. And with that, the Polar Express, Thomas, the magical train car, and Percy had another fun adventure on the island of Sodor. The end.